Hi there. I realize it's been a while since I've added anything to this channel, but I've been pretty busy. I finally have my catalog of galaxy clusters finalized. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more details than that until I have something ready for publication. Uh, even giving numbers of clusters and things like that away kind of uh, point to a certain set of results that I would rather have written up before I, I talk about them. So uh, it's been three solid months of work and it's, uh, it's finished. So that feels really good. As far as things to look for in the sky, evening sky not too much right about now. Saturn is still up uh, nearly overhead at sunset. Well, not overhead, but as uh, it's in Leo, so it's, it's pretty high up in the sky in the south. Uh, Jupiter, I guess, comes up around midnight with Neptune right next to it. So if you have a, at least even a two-inch telescope, you should be able to pick up Neptune. Uh, Jupiter, of course, very easy to see. And the Galilean moons would be very easy to see in binoculars or a two-inch telescope or bigger. And Mars and Venus are actually right next to each other this month also in the morning sky. So if you're up at an hour that I don't get up at, 3 or 4 a.m., uh, and you take a look, Venus will be extremely bright, you know, brightest thing in the night sky after the moon, and Mars will be much fainter and right next to it. So remember, to identify planets, planets don't twinkle. And so if you see any of these objects shining steadily, then chances are that you've got a planet. And contrast it with any of the bright stars that might be up at that time uh, in the evening sky it would be like Arcturus would be uh, visible or Spica in Virgo or Regulus in Leo toward the middle of the night Antares uh, would be visible in the south or Vega and Deneb and Altair the summer triangle would be uh, visible in the east and then moving toward overhead and towards morning let's see it's coming back around toward the spring stars. It's visible in the spring, it's really bright. Maybe Capella would be coming up again in the east. Uh, just also, if you look for Vega, Deneb, Altera, they'll be up definitely in the morning sky. So you can contrast those stars and the bright stars twinkling with the planets not twinkling and be able to figure things out from there. So I hope your observations are going well. And leave comments below, leave ratings, etc. And I'll hopefully talk to you again sooner than I did this time.